Let's talk all about ESX template literal strings in JavaScript in about five minutes. What's up everyone? If you're new to the channel, my name is James Hugh Quick and I do weekly videos on web development topics. And I spend a lot of time talking about JavaScript fundamentals. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a feature from ES6 JavaScript which is template literal strings, which makes it a lot easier to do things like sh string concatenation, variable interpolation in your strings, and honestly just makes working with strings that much easier. So let's dive into VS Code and take a look. All right, so I am inside of VS Code and I am using an extension called Quokka. And what this is, it's a live scratch pad for JavaScript. So it allows me to open up a JavaScript file and basically run this JavaScript real time. So every time I change code, it's gonna rerun it and we can see automatic feedback. So I've got an object here for me with a first name, last name, age, and address. If you recognize this address, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but let's say I wanted to print uh, some sort of message here. So let's say I wanted to log out um, the my first and last name and say that I live at so-and-so and so-and-so. So I would have to uh, take the variable. I would have to take me.first and then add in a space and then uh, me.last, add in another space and say is, and then add in uh, the variable for me.age, and then add in another space and say, and lives at, and then add in another variable uh, with this space, and then add in me.address. There was a lot of add-ins, and there was a lot of me.space, and or uh, me.variable, and then space, and all that kind of stuff. So this is regular string concatenation. This is where we're taking a variable, we're adding in an empty string or a space here, adding another variable, is space, age, and so on and so on. So you can see this prints off the message, James Quick is 30 and lives at uh, number four private drive. So uh, that is fine, but it's uh, kind of difficult. So the first thing we wanna know is what is the uh, template literal string? So template literal strings are used inside of backtick. So I can say James Quick, uh, is 30 and lives at uh, four privet drive. So this is just like any other uh, string here, just using backticks instead of single quotes or double quotes. You can use it in place of either one. And then what I can do is since this is a template literal string, I can go in and replace these uh, different pieces with uh, variables from our object. So I can do me.first and then uh, inside of this one me.last and notice that I'm doing dollar sign bracket. And what this signifies is anything that's inside of here is basically JavaScript. That should be a regular JavaScript variable. So I can go me.first, me.last, and then uh, me.age, if I can spell it correctly. And then lastly, the same thing for me.address. And now you see this prints the same thing. All right, so it should look the exact same, but it's a little bit shorter not only is it a little bit shorter, but also it's much easier to read because you can just interpolate this variable right inside of the string and have it in line instead of separating out each individual space and other piece of text and blah, blah, blah. So to me, it's much easier to read. It's much more convenient. And I use template literal strings almost all the time, although you will see me if I don't need variables inside of them, you will see me use things like the single quotes and double quotes. Now that's one example. Another thing I wanna show you is uh, inside of the rewrite for my personal site that I'm moving to Next.js, uh, I wanna show you something called a tagged template literal or a tag template literal. And this is, if you look inside of here, what I'm doing is using GraphQL to make a query to query all the posts from my sanity backend. If this is new for you, that's okay. Just know that there are tag template literals where you have basically like a function that you can call and then you can pass it a query, in this case with GraphQL, inside of these backticks with this like formatted string that then basically gets uh, passed into this as a function. So it's almost as if you're calling this GQL function, actually that's literally what you're doing, and you're passing it a string, but you get to do it in this formatted way because of the way tag template literals work. It's kind of cool. So that is tag template literals. And the last advantage I wanna show you with template literal strings is again focused on you can keep their format. So in this case, what I'm doing is I am calling the JavaScript, or excuse me, calling the Pokemon API in JavaScript, getting that and then creating a template string for HTML. So this HTML string. So I iterate through each Pokemon and then I generate an LI, which has a class of card with all of the information inside of it. So notice tag, or excuse me, template literal string. I'm using my backticks. 
I then have variable interpolation here. Regular quotes still work. So double quotes still work because those are needed for the HTML. And then what I can do is I can still leave this in the format I want. And the, the template literal string is going to respect that, which means I can basically write HTML in here and have it look the way I want it to. So it's not just this big glob of a string. It actually looks like HTML. So I keep that formatting here. So I've used that in that case for uh, like generating HTML. This is kind of like almost building your own React. If you have like a render function and you have a, um, you pass in the necessary variables and then you interpolate them inside of, inside of here to say where those variables should go. It's almost like JSX with React. Anyway, so that is uh, ES6 template literal strings in about five minutes. Again, I use these all the time. Now, if you're interested in learning more about JavaScript, uh, my podcast co-host, we run the Compressed FM podcast, but my podcast co-host, Amy Dutton and I are working on an advent of CSS and advent of JavaScript. Now, what this is, is starting in the month of December, if you sign up for this, you will get a new JavaScript challenge every day leading up to Christmas. So December 1st through December 24th, you'll get a new challenge in your email for you to take on. The challenges will be free, and if you're interested in the solutions, you can pay for those as well. This is kind of a, a, a just a placeholder landing page. We're working on building this out right now, but it will sign you up for updates on the courses as they're released. So make sure to check it out at adventofjs.com. In the meantime, that is ES6 template literal strings. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a comment below, like the video, all the standard things. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.